what is my today's topic for discussion? Human papilloma virus is a cause of what? It causes a spectrum of disease from warts to squamous cell carcinoma of the skin and the mucous membrane, including laryngeal papillomas. More than 200 human papilloma virus types are known. The incidence of all types of wart is highest in children and the adolescent. Human papilloma virus spread by direct contact and autoinoculation, transmission within families, and the biformids can also occur. The clinical manifestation of infection develop one month or longer after inoculation. This depends on the type of human papilloma virus, the size of the inocula, the immune status of the host, and the anatomic site. When we come to clinical manifestation, there are different types of warts. Cutaneous warts develop in 5 to 10 percent of children. From this virus, common wart is the most common. It's caused most commonly by human papilloma virus type 24. It occurs most frequently on the fingers, dorsum of the hand, parochial area, face, knees, and elbows. They are well circumscribed, capsules with regular, roughened, keratotic surface. The other is perangal warts. Those are often painful and they may spread beneath the nail plate, separating it from the nail bed. The other is plantar warts, similar to the common wart. Plantar warts are caused by human papilloma virus type 1 and are occasionally flush with the surface of the soul because of the constant pressure from weight bearing. When plantar warts become hyperkeratotic, they may be painful. Similar lesion can also occur in the palmus and it's called palmal verruque palmaris. They are sharply demarcated, often with a ring of thick colors. The fourth is flat warts. This is caused by human papilloma virus type 3 and 10. They are slightly elevated, minimally hyperkeratotic papules, usually remain less than 3 mm in diameter and they vary in the varying color from pink to brown. They may occur in the profusion on the face, arms, dorsum of the hand, and the knee. The distribution of several lesions along a line of cutaneous trauma is a helpful diagnostic feature. It's called covenarization. So they distribute along the line of trauma. For example, when somebody shaves this is here, it can disseminate through that. The next is genital human papilloma virus infection, which is called condyloma cumnata. It occurs in sexually active adolescents, most commonly as a result of infection with human papilloma virus type 6 and 11. They are moist, fleshy papillomatous lesion that occur on the perianal mucus, labia, vaginal introitus, perianal raphe, on the shaft corona and the uh, gland spinous. Occasionally, they obstruct the ureteral meatus or the vaginal introitus. Because they are located in interterigenous areas, they may become moist and friable. Genital warts in children may occur after inoculation during birth through an infected birth canal as a consequence of sexual abuse or from incidental spread from cutaneous warts. Human papilloma virus infection of the cervix is a major risk factor for the development of carcinoma. Currently, immunization against type 6, 11, 16, and 80 is available. Laryngeal or respiratory papillomas contain the same human papilloma virus types as in anogenital papillomas. The transmission is built to occur from mothers with a genital human papilloma virus infection to neonates who aspirate infectious virus during birth. When we came to treatment, more than 65% of warts disappear spontaneously within two years, so expectant management is there. Warts are epidermal lesion and they do not produce caring unless they are managed surgically or treated in an overly aggressive fashion. Otherwise, there is no scar after uh, resolution. Hyperkeratotic lesions are more responsive to therapy if the excess keratotic debris is gently paired with a scalpel until thrombosed capillaries are apparent. Treatment most successful when performed regularly and frequently every two to four weeks. Common warts can be destroyed by application of liquid nitrogen or by Pulsed day laser. Daily application of salicylic acid or as a flexible collagen or as thick is a slow but painless method of removal that is effective in some patients. Plantar and the palmar warts may be treated with 40% salicylic acid plasters. Those should be applied for five days at a time with two day rest period between application. Following removal of the plaster and the prolonged soaking in hot water, keratotic debris can be removed with an emery board or Pumaisto stone. Condylomata respond best to weekly application of 25% podophilin. 
The medication should be left on the waters for four to six hours and then removed by basil. Keratinized waters near the genitalia do not respond to podophily. In this case, imiquimumab applied three times weekly is also beneficial. Imiquimumab is used successfully to treat waters in other location. However, it can cause inflammation and irritation, particularly in occluded areas. Otherwise, it can successfully treat waters in any other location. For non-genital waters, imiquimumab should be applied daily, and simetidine by uh, oral administration in children 30 to 40 mg per kg per day in divide doses used in children with multiple waters and responding to other treatment if they fail to respond to other treatment. Thank you for watching.